I'm finally doing my March cover page and I've been slacking very, very badly on it. But I have lots of fun stuff. So I work at a scrapbook store, okay? So I have access to any kind of scrapbooking paper product thing you can imagine. So I will be doing more of these haul type videos. I guess this would be considered a haul. Kaiser Craft has come out with this line called Greenhouse and it is all succulent plants and it's amazing and I'm in love with it. So what I have is I have some of the pages of scrapbook paper. So this one is called Conservatory and it has little sayings on, on the back. I really liked the back of this one. It's just like this green and blue watercolor wash. It looks kind of like wallpaper to me, but also paint, like paint and wallpaper together. I have no idea, but I thought that was pretty cute. This one is called Desert Rose, and I liked it for this pattern. I didn't, it, this side's okay, but I don't particularly like these kind of patterns unless I'm doing cards and I'm using them as like a back thing. So this one, I super, super, super loved this one because A, it's watercolor and B, because of the hanging plants. So I got two of them, obviously. The other side just has this water, blue, tealish watercolor and these little up and down arrow triangle things. I guess they're not just up and down, they're kind of scattered about. This one is called Agave, and I was actually going to use this in my journal up here in the corner. And the great, because this matches the turtle that I have for January. But they also had a page that kind of matched it, which I was super excited about. This one's called Jade Plant, and I got two of these too because I like the pattern that was on the back of this one. Just thought these two would be super cute next to each other because this watercolor isn't, it's just like gray. It's like a neutral, but also kind of like green gray. So I'm just gonna do a quick little flip through in here. So I tried, I used some of them already, but there's two pages of each one, so there's this page, and then there's another page with these, like, strips with words on them, banners, borders, is that what those are called? And then this page, I love, I love these, I was gonna use this one, wouldn't fit because it was too wide. There's two of those. There's this page, other than one that I didn't use. Um, has these cute little banners, I loved these little banners. And I used this Life is Beautiful sticker um, in my notebook already. And these little hanging plants, I'm so excited for these little hanging plants. I love them, they're so adorable. And I really like this banner and this banner, and I'm not sure what to do with them yet. The, another great thing about these is if you're using them in your journal, they have numbers 231, which is fantastic, and they have a set of letters, and like I said, you get two, two of each, so there's two of those also, and that's the end of it. Last thing is this little collectible set, and these are little die cut. They're pre-die cut cards. So like this is a little Polaroid picture and it's cut so I can take this picture out if I wanted to. And then it comes with like little tags, there's a little hole in here that I can punch out. 
and put ribbon in here. And a little circle cut out. This is what I do. See, you to do it with me. Ooh, there are lots and lots of plants, and I love it. That's one of the things I love about these little collectible things, is just like the flowers. I can see myself using pretty much all of these. There's not one that I don't think I've seen that wouldn't I wouldn't use. Oh, here's a little stamp. Look at how cute. I'm so obsessed. This is so adorable. Look how cute. So there's two butterflies, right? But then there's this like weird white strip thing in the middle. And I have two of them because they're two different colors. But that's weird. Like, what do you do with that? Do you wrap it around? That's a good idea. I didn't even, why did, I did think of that. I was going to say, why didn't I even think of that? And I did that with my brain doing things. Why can I not pick this up now? No, but like you could wrap it around this and make them fly around it. I don't know, that's kind of cute. I am very pleased with this collectible collection thing. I am very glad that I got this. and cut them down to the size of these papers that I need. Okay, so apparently this hasn't been recording, so I'm just going to explain what I did. I used this little tool thing to cut the edge off the corner here to make it fit in with my book because the corners of the book are rounded. So after I did that, I pasted down these pages and then I put washi tape in the middle to um, connect that crease, otherwise there would be two pages that are kind of just hanging out. So, after I did that, I cut out this piece to fit right here, and then I cut out this black piece to be a mat underneath it, just like that. And I'm going to write March on the inside of here. I'm currently looking for a piece of ribbon to put on here somewhere, because I think that would be adorable. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm using do this. Instead of using the back side of that one, which is seafoam green, I'm going to take this kiwi one and use the kiwi. take black and go on the inside where the shadows would be. Well, the shadows I'm doing closer to the green, the dark green, whereas the highlights I did kind of further away from it. Boop, boop. Oh, a jelly roll to add some highlights. I've been doing this cool like arrow highlight. Um, I draw like a few arrowhead type things and then just a few dots below them. It's weird, but I like how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna tie a bow. This is how I tie my bows. I put two fingers 
make loops and put the one under the other and then pull it and then sometimes you gotta twist the pieces around to get it how you want it to sit. look a little wonky. Sometimes you gotta start over and that's okay. Ta-da! And we have a bow. That's a fantastic idea. Okay, so we have our little corner piece. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. So I'm going to put that on this piece. So I haven't put this down on this black piece yet. I'm putting this on here. And I'm going to wrap it around. This double-sided tape, this is from Express It. Express It. And I want to say this is a quarter of an inch. I'm just going to take two pieces of this. I just see where this folds over first. And then put the tape where it folds. I'm going to put a tiny piece of this on the back side of here. So that this stays down too. And this stuff is permanent once it's dry, so. Oops. So we put it in the corner. Okay, I found this magazine clipping of some more succulent plants and I cut this out of here and I was going to crop these so that they fit in here and then I was going to stick it somewhere on the edge just to give it something extra. And then I'm actually going to do this with scissors because I feel like my cutter thing is too strong for this paper. Truth. We fit. Maybe just a little tiny bit needs to cut off. Cut it off the top. I'm gonna use this Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I'm using the 
little side because this is little stuff. And I'm gonna put it on the Polaroid frame. Look at that, it's so cute. Okay, don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna need a mat though, I should mat it down. So then we have the mat for that. I'm gonna try sticking a sticker here. Is there anything like this works? Did it come up in March? There's another one. Oh, also, found another magazine clipping thing and printed out, or not printed, but cut out this little cactus guy. He needs a mat too, but we haven't gotten that far yet. These are the same. I don't think they're the same. They look similar. I don't know. Definitely not the same. The, the only problem I have with this is it's going to cover up this. And I like that. So, my thing is I'm probably going to need a smaller one if I'm going to do that. In which case, I can use one of these ones, like this one for example, and stick it up in the corner here. I'm trying to tuck, I like tucking things underneath other things because it gives it like dimension. See that that blends in. That needs like something behind it, I feel like. Or does it? I don't know, I feel like it's kind of the same color. But there is a flower group in here. Like there's this one. And then again, I'm going to try to make it as centered as possible. I think that looks pretty good. I have these two cute little pictures. The only problem is, I don't know where to put them. Book down with binder clips because it's really thick. And it keeps trying to lift up, so I'm just holding it down like this. I'm going to take some distress inks and oxide. Not entirely sure what the difference is. 
I will look into that and put the difference of the difference between that oxide down in the description because currently I do not know. But I'm going to be using these little cotton which they're on the floor. Using these cotton balls as um, sponges because I don't want to waste a sponge. So I don't know if this I think this is green. Oh, there's cat fur all over here. Yeah, it's a green. I'm going to start with the lighter green first and then go in with the darker green. And I'm putting it on this side. This would probably work a lot better with a sponge, but I like to be difficult. So I have sponges. I'm just, if you can't afford a sponge, this is a great option. You still get good results. And this, when I say sponge, I'm just talking about like this. This thing comes off and you can replace it with a new sponge. And I have replacement sponges, but I'm just lazy and don't want to replace it. Okay, so so far I'm seeing that Distress Oxide is a lot less pigmented than Distress Ink. Just realized I forgot to light this candle at the beginning. I was I was gonna do this and I just burned myself trying to light it. Apparently I'm not very good at lighting candles, guys. There we go. My polarizer. Mini Mister. I'm just gonna use that to spritz spritz my page a bit. And I know some of you are thinking, oh my god. She's getting her bullet journal wet. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Before you spray your page, it's important to have your heat tool handy because otherwise it bleeds through too quickly. If I would have had my heat tool handy, I would have been able to dry it quicker, which would in turn not have caused this bleeding effect. At least in theory, that's what I'm hoping, but because I wasn't prepared. Let's try it again, because why not? I like experimenting. Journals, or journaling is all about experimenting, right? Why does it have to be perfect? Everybody's always like, oh, I want it to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's art. Not all art is perfect. Right? Where did my little, see, I'm not perfect at losing things. Where did... This is why I can't film videos like this and talk at the same time because I end up losing things and then this video is going to be like forever long. But I'm going to take my oxide stuff again and go back over that. Try to cover up some of these words that I accidentally made pop through. We're going to try this again. You ready? Everybody hold your breath because I know it's coming. so it's not that bad. Also why it's important to do your monthlies before you start your dailies because then it doesn't matter if you screw up on the back because you can still write over it and it'll still make sense. But because I'm doing this three weeks in, it's, it's only two weeks or one. I can't count. Who knows? I'm gonna spray it on my hand first because that was a that was a uh, tip. Oh, I'm spraying it on the wrong hand. That was a tip. So spray it on your hand and then just like drop it on there and drops and that'll give it an effect. I keep spraying it backward. I am making a mess. See, this is why I grabbed paper towels. This is why paper towels are important. But now I made a bigger mess than I have before. That's okay. Art is allowing yourself to make mistakes because those mistakes turn into beauty. Let's see. I'm going to work on this march here. And I'm going to do it like I did the other side. 
So we need that paper. This is probably a dark question, but if you know what, I suppose I could Google this too. If you know what the little lines in between the inches, let me know down in the comments because I'm curious and I don't know what they're called. I could probably Google it, like I said. I probably should Google it. That's probably a thing. I'll give you a minute though. Write it down in the comments if you think you know what it is. Just like that. Ta -da! And then that'll coexist with the front of the page. This is pretty much dry. If you cut your paper and it doesn't cut exactly how you want it to, or like see how mine has like these little frilly edges, you can either distress it or I take a this is just a regular old nail file. And just kind of file them down a little bit. It makes it look a little bit smoother than it was originally. It's not perfect, but oh well. It is in the jar. This jar is where I put all of the ribbon that is too short to hang on my little ribbon paper. I'm specifically putting this picture of Patrick on St. Patrick's Day, just, just so everybody knows. <laughs> 